You know, Walter and I were talking about our government. Yeah, do you pay attention to politics? Oh, yeah, pay attention to yeah, politics. Yeah, sure do. Okay. Well, can, I, can I ask you your opinion on some current issues? No, oh, yeah, current issues. Okay. Let's talk about some things you might be familiar with. Okay, for example, Bubba J, what is your feeling on gun control? Oh, I know this one. Oh, yeah, if you're drunk and seeing double, shoot in the middle. <laughs> so what do you think about taxing the 1%? Oh, I don't know. I drink whole milk. <laughs> Are you familiar with the term no child left behind? I think the movie's actually called Home Alone. <laughs> So what do you think about immigration reform? Is it bad for me to say I'm kind of on the fence on this one? <laughs> All right, what do you think about the Clintons? My wife says I can never find it. No, Hillary Clinton. It has a first name? I always thought the full name sounded like a dinosaur. Clintonsaurus. Either way, it's fossilized. <laughs> How would you feel about a woman president? Oh, no, does Obama want to become a woman, too? <laughs> I'm all for a woman president, just so long she doesn't start all her speeches with, where the hell were you last night? <laughs> but I heard it could be Hillary against Jeb. That's right. Either way, we're going to have a Bush in the White House. <laughs> Get it? I'm sorry. You Bush. You get it? Yeah. Unless she goes to Brazil. Will you stop? You get it? Because there's no Bushes in Brazil. I got him. I do some of these just for me, you know. So. so another big issue. I'm afraid even to ask this one. Um, <clears throat> How do you feel about fracking? <laughs> Me and the wife are down to about once a month. <laughs> no, I'm talking about drilling into a hole and hitting gas. Yeah, so am I. Uh, I just never, I, I voted for Obama, but I never, I always thought, I think he thinks we're a little bit more of a team than we are. Like, here's the thing, sir, we get you elected, and then you do shit, and then you tell us about it. That, that's how I thought this was going to roll. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. See, he's on the TV all the time. America, I'm going to need your help on this. Sir, 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 we are busy, okay? <laughs> Shark Week is on. I don't know if you're familiar with that. That's not something you tape. You got to watch that live. It always sucks on tape. Doomsday Preppers, I have eight episodes. I've yet to watch. I, I don't even watch reality, but if you have never seen that show, I think it's the craziest you could be. They are preparing for the end of the world, these people. They all think it's something different. A dirty bomb, um, uh, the government's gonna take over, or they have crazy, all these ideas of how the world's gonna end, but they prepare differently. They have bunkers, they have medicine for life. But what's even more bizarre than what they're doing is every single one of them is married. Oh, really? I have normal, nice friends that can't get a date. And, and you, you... How'd you throw that out on ChristianMingle.com and get a hit back? That's all I want to know. How do you just toss that out there like it's normal? Hobbies? Preparing for the end of the world. <laughs> you can't throw something else in, Tannis. I mean, what? No. And then somebody hit you back. OMG, me too. Meet me at Costco. Lots of things to buy. Can't wait. This is going to get weird. Wait for shit to get weird. Wait for shit to get weird.
Obama is always, always reaching out. God love him. America, if you agree with me on how to solve this financial crisis, I'm going to need you to email your congressmen and representatives. I'm like, well, then I'm going to need you to email me who they are. <laughs> because unless they're hosting Shark Week or preparing for the end of the world, I am probably not familiar with their work. Because the ticket didn't say Obama Madigan. The ticket said Obama Biden. So if you need some help, I suggest you get that smiling Irishman you hired out of a bar. <laughs> who is my favorite person on the planet, by the way. Because there's a reason he's always smiling. Because he was smart enough to go for vice president. Yes, all the alcohol, none of the problems. That is the job you go for. If you have, what do you want to be number one for? Blah, 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 blah. Bring, cut your ego down a level. There's nothing wrong with Air Force Two. Same plane, different number, same plane. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, and you don't even have to answer anything. What do you think about the finance? I don't know, I really don't want to talk about it. My, the ice in my margarita is melting though, and I have to go to a funeral in Turkey of a person I've never heard of, and I gotta act sad, so I'm gonna need a few more drinks, and then I'll talk to you guys later. Obama, I really think he starts out on such a high intellectual level sometimes. I saw him two months ago on TV, he just, just gave a random speech, he goes, America, I'm here to update you about Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Really? It's going to start right there? Well, I'm here to update you, sir. That's funny. I have an update, too. Up until six months ago, I thought Fannie Mae was a candy factory in Chicago. <laughs> Thank you. And I couldn't understand why a candy factory was allowed to hand out home loans. And then... <laughs> I really couldn't understand who thought to go there. Like, that's brilliant. Like, well, hey, the bank said no. Why don't we go down to the candy factory and see if they'll... <laughs> they seem to be doing well. And, and I thought Freddie Mac was a candy bar that they made I hadn't yet tasted in it. And I thought, I'm going to look for that at the airport, and I hope it has caramel in it. They speak about these things as if we're all updated. The deficit, they say that as if it's a real tangible number. The deficit, it's three trillion, seven thousand, eight hundred four. Now is the time to get concerned. <laughs> really, now? Why, why now? You're in charge. You didn't panic at two trillion. I think you're bullshitting. I don't, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Being a president, I would not ever want that job. You can't make anybody, nobody happy. Nobody's, nobody's happy. We need this. Well, if you get this, we don't know. What, you, what about us? What are we going to get? No, no. Don't give it. I wouldn't get up. I'd be in my bed. Mr. President, I'm sick. <laughs> we got stuff to do. Go ahead and do it. Do your thing. Do what you got to do. Michelle, do it. Michelle, go ahead. Michelle got it. <laughs> Think about it. Who would want that job? Who, who here would run for president? Who? Who here would run for president? Who here want to be the president of the class? Are you would run for president? Have you run for anything before? What'd you run for? Huh? School board's different. School board president. We need books. <laughs> Where we gonna get the books at? We'll table that to next week. <laughs> School board is crazy, too. I, I've seen some of your stuff on, on YouTube. <laughs> Y'all need to quit taping Detroit. I ain't trying to say nothing. I mean, that was cool before there was YouTube and Facebook. But that's why people think Detroit crazy. Y'all be like this, say something else. Say something else. And that's the school board president. I kill everybody up here. Quit taping it. 
quit taping them, man. It's, it's crazy. Okay, what's the hardest part? School board, being a school board president, what's the hardest part? What's the hardest part of that job? Huh, parents? Why you let them come? <laughs> See, that's how you solve problems. Let me be a consultant. <laughs> See, consultant means I don't have to know what I'm doing. You just pay me anyway. <laughs> and I give you suggestions. See, consultant is a great job. I think you should just go ahead and spend the money. It didn't work. My bad. <laughs> I'm just a consultant. You shouldn't have done what I say. I'm just... And parents, I like when parents defend their little crazy child. That's why I think the first day of school, who got kids in school? Who got kids in school? Got kids in school? Got kids in school? This is what you should do the first day. Don't even let the kids come. Let the parents come. Oh, her, her son going to be crazy. You can look at the parents. Uh-oh. What's your last name? Oh, damn. If you just look at the parents, you know which kids I got to get them out of my class before the first day. Because his mom was there. May I say something? May I say something? See, I can't be a school teacher because I'm too honest. That's why I can't keep many jobs. See, people say they want honesty. Everybody says, oh, I want honesty. No, you don't. No, you don't. I can't be a teacher sitting there. Why my son flunk? Because he's the dumbest one in the class. I'm surprised he got to fifth grade. I don't know how. He should be in kindergarten. That's where he needs to be. You know what I'm saying, right? People need to be able to tell the truth. Like all my teachers, y'all gotta, gotta be sitting there, okay, what do you do when you got, do you teach in public school or like private school? Oh, so the biggest thing with you is, we had a bake sale and all the money didn't come in. <laughs> Who has the bake sale money? We are locking these doors. We're using our honesty caps. Everybody put on their honesty cap. Johnny took the money. And what do we do when we lie, Johnny? We say we're sorry. So don't you ever say, it's so hard being a teacher. I want you to be a substitute teacher in the Detroit public school system. Not for a week, not for a week, one day. Just going through the metal detector. Whoop, 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 whoop. It was crazy, right? That's why you went to public, went to private school, right? So what's the worst? What's the worst thing happened in private school? Crazy parents? What's a crazy parent? I will take all my money. I swear to God. <laughs> there will be no trip to New York. There will be no trip to New York. I will shut it down. <laughs> I will take the hot dog stand away from the games. There won't be a hot dog stand. Oh, they think they own you because they do. <laughs> they do. If I, pay, if I spend $40,000 a year, oh, he gonna pass. Cause the check clear. Oh, you ain't fucking him. Not for $40,000. That's an automatic ride to the next class. For $40,000, how you gonna flunk this child? Man, see, see these black parents and, and my white parents from inner city Detroit. You send your kid to school for 40 grand, had that parent meeting. He did what? I'll be right back. <laughs> He'll come in. I want someone to apologize. Say it, say it, say what I said. I like the volunteer. $40,000, you act like a fool. We could have gone somewhere with your money. Cannot be funnier than reality. Kanye. <laughs> See, half of you just wrote your own joke. <laughs> you just sitting there like, relax, Alonzo, we got this. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to tell you about Kanye West. I'll tell you this. It is hard enough to be black without Kanye West. <laughs>
because the day that Kanye gave his speech or manifesto or whatever it was, <laughs> all across America, white people looked at the nearest black person and just went, <laughs> as, as if we had an explanation. You know, and I'm standing there like, well, but this is the first I've heard of it. I, I wasn't prepared for questions, I'm sorry. Dad, what's going on with Kanye? I was like, that is crazy. That's all I got. That's the best expert. That, that nigga, that's crazy right there. I got no... I don't drop the end bomb on white people too often, but there was really no other explanation. You know, so the minute I say that is crazy, the follow-up question, you know, from white people, like, well, how come black people can say and white people can't? Okay? And, and then I thought about it. I thought, and here, here's why. Let me explain to you. Because the word in the black community has no racial connotation to it. You understand? It's just a word that we use. So that's not the insult. The insult is the word after that. You got to listen for the third word <laughs> to find out what we mean, right? So if I say, like, that is crazy, he's like, you think I have mental issues? Like, you see? <laughs> see, it's the third word that throws him up. Man, that is fat. He's like, you think I'm overweight? You see, every now and then, I mess with people. I'd be like, that is a racist. They're like, now, wait a minute. I'm not sure how that one works. But see, that, that's black people. Now, white people, you're not allowed to say that. Because white people would be like, that nigga, and that's as far as you're going to get. <laughs> you ain't going to get to the second syllable. Don't even worry about the third word. But Kanye, I mean, it, it, I, I couldn't believe it. It, it was insane. Kanye's speech was so crazy that Donald Trump was looking at him like, wow. <laughs> wow, he, he's better at it than me. I, <laughs> this makes no sense at all. I, <laughs> Kanye West said that we should repeal the 13th Amendment. For those who don't know, that's the one that freed the slaves. Right? And I'm like, look, if we got to give one back, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe not that one. Like, let's give up the right to vote or something, but let's, let's not just give back the slave amendment, you know? Because once, once slavery comes back, the rest of them are pretty much academic, you know? Just, yeah, they bring back slavery. We ain't too worried about sitting at the lunch counter anymore. We, it, it's insane. And it comes at you so fast. You can't keep up anymore. You can't keep up with the news cycle. Here's the thing about Kanye. Kanye knocked Kavanaugh right out of the news. The Kavanaugh hearings just, and we were like, Kavanaugh, that was like four years ago, right? Like, <laughs> like he's been on the Supreme Court for nine years now, right? Like, no, it was one week, but we're so bombarded. And I, and I watched the Kavanaugh hearings, and I'll tell you this, there's such a thing as, as white privilege, right? And I know what that is, but, but Kavanaugh, that was a whole different level. Because he, basically, he had a job interview with the United States Senate, and he started yelling at them. He was yelling at the United States Senate, I don't like these hearings, and this whole thing is a fart. I like beer. Right? And even white people were like, wow, can you do that? Can you yell at, can you yell at senators now? I didn't know. He said, I like beer at a job interview. <laughs> you can't say that at a McDonald's job interview. <laughs> you go to McDonald's, you're like, I like beer. They're like, we're not hiring. 